The safety of passengers is being threatened by the increasing number of illegal taxis and long-distance drivers, says Secretary General of the NPPTA, Nathan Africa. To deal with this matter, Nathan suggested the formation of a special unit whose objective will be to deal with fake taxi drivers as well as ensure the safety of public passengers. Participating in illegal transportation is totally against the law. We've had operations December and January with Namibian police at roadblock. And people just come and they say, no, but I haven't, I haven't watched TV. I haven't listened to the news. I don't know that these cars are illegal. Even the condition of some, some of the cars, we're talking about legal and illegal operators. Some of the condition of these vehicles are totally horrifying. Another issue of concern is that of long-distance drivers having to sleep at roadblocks due to the 2200-hour curfew. This was highlighted by NPPTA President Edward Kalembe. When it comes to roadblock, I was uh, looking to the scenario in Oshivero, whereby cars have been parked, one and a big bus, and people are sleeping. Some of them, they are sleeping in the, in the grasses, some of them in a the, in the, in the bus. I think we need to look at in, uh, when it comes to transport. We, I'm talking about transport. I want the Lille government to look on it so that at least they can allow the people to go and they reach to their destiny instead of uh, being parked on one place, which is a uh, convert now, it is a double. We are pleading with our government. As an association point of view, we want that thing to be reviewed for the transport so that at least the bus, which is carrying a lot of people, it can allow it to go. The association is also challenged by the lack of proper taxi ranks in Vintuk and elsewhere in the country. The NPPTA is calling on the Ministry of Works and Transport to address this matter as soon as possible.